and welcome to Elf Commerce students. Today also I will continue with cash flow statement, the chapter that I have started in the last video. So today in this class I will uh, continue with the second part and the last part of cash flow statement. So I have told you in the previous class that cash flow statement consists of three separate parts, three separate activities. First one was operating activities which is discussed. First one is operating activities which is discussed in the last class. Uh, now in today's class I will uh, first discuss about the second part, second activity that is investing activity. Investing activity is the matter of discussion of today's class. First we will discuss about this investing activities. Now what does this investing activity deals with as the name suggests the investing activity deals with all the investment in the fixed assets all the investments in the investments in the fixed assets what are the different fixed assets in a business the different fixed assets in a business are plant and machinery plant and machinery or you may say furniture or building these type of things these type of assets are the fixed asset now investing activity deals with these type of fixed asset that means either the purchase or the sale the purchase or the sale of these fixed asset will affect the investing activity. Now what will affect and how it will affect? Uh, we know that if there is any sale, if there is any sale in the fixed asset, if there is any sale in the fixed asset, that will be added. That means if there is any disposal of, dispose of or sale, disposal or sale, of fixed asset any kind of fixed asset it may be it may be plant and machinery furniture equipment land and building whatever it is if the sale or disposal takes place if sale or disposal of the fixed asset take place then always we will add it we will add it in the investing activities and on the other side the purchase any purchase of any fixed asset, any purchase of any fixed asset that will be deducted in the investing activity. So these are the two main calculations that you have to keep in mind while doing the calculation of investing activities. The first one being the sale of fixed asset and the second one is the purchase of fixed asset. Now, sale will be added because by selling, one is getting the cash. That means cash inflow takes place through the sale of any fixed asset. Cash inflow takes place through the sale of any fixed asset. That's why sale of fixed asset will always be added. Whatever fixed asset it may be, sale of fixed asset will be added. On the other hand, any purchase of fixed asset will be subtracted. Why? Because while purchasing fixed asset, an organization generally gives off cash. That means cash outflow take place in case of purchasing. That is cash outflow takes place in order to purchase the fixed asset. And because cash outflow takes place, that's why it will be deducted. So remember always for adding, uh, for, in, for case of sale of fixed asset, will be added and purchase of any fixed asset will be subtracted and thus we will get an amount an amount we will get by doing this addition and subtraction and that amount will be regarded as cash from investing activities it will be cash from investing activities cash from investing activities we can get Cash from investing activities can be derived through the addition and subtraction of these purchase and sale of 
fixed asset. These are all the stuffs that are to be included in the acti uh, investing activities. Investing activities deals with the addition and subtraction that is the sale and purchase of fixed asset respectively. Now we come to the last part of the cash flow statement. How this operates that I will show you through sums. But here I am discussing about the items to be included in the different three activities of cash flow statement. Gradually we come to the last segment of cash flow statement that is financing activities. Financing activities is the third and the final part of the cash flow statement. Now this financing activities deals with all kind of capital investment which is taken in the liability side of the balance sheet. That is equity share capital or preference share capital or debenture or long term loan. These type of items will be included. That means financial activities deals with all these four items. All these four items are a part of financial activities. Always remember if there is any sale in the equity share. If there is any sale in the equity share that will be if there is any increase in the amount of equity share in the subsequent years. If there is any sale that is to be added. That is to be added. Uh, again in case of debenture. If there is any repayment of debenture, if, if there is any repayment of debenture, then that is to be subtracted. That means you will deduct the repayment of debenture or any kind of loan. Repayment of debenture or any kind of loan. But you will add any kind of sale of equity share sale of equity share will be added and purchase of equity share will be subtracted. So purchase of equity share you will subtract and sale of equity share you will add because by selling the equity share a company earns capital, a company earns money. Therefore sale of equity share by selling of equity share cash inflow takes place and that's why it will be added. And in case of repayment of debenture or loan, cash outflow takes place. Therefore, it will be subtracted. In case of redemption or repayment of debenture or repayment of any kind of loan, cash outflow takes place. That's why it will be subtracted. So, this addition and subtraction is included in financial activity. In other words, financial activity deals with the sale and repayment of all the fixed liabilities that is the capital, the equity share capital, preference share capital, debenture, loan, etc. All these things, all these part of the liability side, that all the items of the liability side of a balance sheet. So this is all about financial activities. Thus we complete the pattern of cash flow statement which deals with operating activities and then investing activities and financial activities. These three activities are... Uh, uh, included in cash flow statement or rather cash flow statement deals with comprises of these three activities. In my next class I will show you all the sums related to cash flow statement. Till then goodbye.